to show you the vlogging backpack because I've been wanting to for a while. So this is essentially all the camera mounts and gear that I bring with me on my adventures. So that's just the head mount, the chest mount, the wrist mount, two of these little screw things for the GoPro. I have two clips, so this is the first one. It's just a normal GoPro clip. One that the GoPro came with that has a little vibration stopper here. It broke in Telluride, so I don't use that anymore, but I usually would use it because it has a vibration stopper, which gives you better looking footage. So yeah, that's that. And then I bring this J hook. It's super similar to this, except that this one curves up. So the GoPro has more space to go forwards and backwards. Two extra batteries for the GoPro. This is a wrist mount. You can just put that on your wrist and take footage. This is a selfie stick for the GoPro, which I probably won't use because I have the Gorillapod now. This is optional. I actually don't usually bring this. This is a mini Bluetooth speaker. Usually when I'm on these adventures, since I'm on the gap year, I get to do them during the day. There's no one with me and I'm by myself. So I like to listen to music. So I bring this to listen to music if I want. This is a little bag to carry the drone propellers, which I'll get to later. Yeah, so this is pretty much all the camera and mounting gear I bring for GoPro and the drone. Over here. This is my old adventuring vlog backpack I used before this. This is just a LL Bean bag, and this I did not get, especially for this stuff, obviously. This actually used to be my sister's, and she got it in like kindergarten. So this is an old backpack, but it's super good because it has a lot of little pockets like this. I used to just keep all like the chest mount, head mount, and everything in here, and then I would keep the little screws in here. Also, this bag that came with the GoPro mounting kit, I keep all these little things in there so I don't lose any of them. And then I just put that whole bag in here. This is for bigger pockets, so I usually keep the drone controller in there. And then in this huge pocket, I keep the drone. The only thing about this backpack is that it's hard to get the drone in and out because it's not a huge pocket. I don't know, it's a pretty comfortable bag. I would recommend it, it's a good bag. But if you're thinking of buying a bag just for adventuring and vlogging, if you have a drone, get one with straps on the front. Okay, that leads to this bag. Okay, first of all, this bag isn't really best, not really meant for, really meant for vlogging. It's more, okay, so it's, let me just get to the point. It's a personal backpack. The personal backpacks are meant for traveling. They're really, really heavy duty. I don't know if they're meant for camera gear or holding little things, but yeah. This one, my sister actually gave to me. It used to be my sister's, so I get all my bags from my sister's. It looks like this, and it's not, super small but it's not huge either so let me show you how i put everything in here and let me show you how i strap the drone to it and everything okay okay so specifically this personal backpack first of all it's super cushioned so it's easy to carry on the inside there's not a ton of pockets like i said but this little garage thing comes out and this inside pocket is huge like it's really really big so i keep a lot of stuff in there and then there's also this little place that I think you're supposed to carry your backpack. That's where I keep the drone battery. That's where I keep the propellers, um, stuff I don't want to be crushed. And then on the inside, I keep all the GoPro mounts. And then I keep this bag with the little GoPro clips and batteries in there. So here, let me just take the battery out of the drone so you can see. Don't keep this in the drone when I'm carrying it and you'll see why later. So this, the bag with the propellers, which I'll do later. This, I put in this little laptop pocket there. And if I'm going with chargers, I'll also put chargers in here. In the big pocket, I put the head mount, chest mount, wrist mount. I just put those in the big pocket. And then in this little Zuki bag thing, I put both of these clips, these two screw things, the two extra GoPro batteries, and the speaker which I don't actually need, but I'm just bringing it just in case. And I put this entire thing in the big pocket, like that. Then, onto the drone stuff. This is a new thing I discovered. I don't think drones are intentionally supposed to be attached to a Herschel backpack, but I figured out a way to do it that works. So if you have a Herschel backpack, this specific Herschel backpack, it doesn't work with the ones without the straps. If you have a Herschel backpack with the straps and you have a drone and you're wondering how to strap it to it, I will show you. So first of all, for the drone, the first thing I do when I'm traveling with it is I take off the propellers. This drone came with a little thing to help get off the propellers, but I lost it on like the first week. So I used the guitar capo, which is actually a life hack because it works. You just put it around the motor and then you When you have a drone, try to 
take these off after most flights, otherwise they spin on really tight and get stuck. And those are super hard to get off. After I get off the propellers, put them in this bag, which is the bag that came with the drone. And then I put this in that little laptop pocket here with the battery. Then I close this. Also, there's a little pocket on the inside right here that's Velcro, and it has just enough space to fit the batteries. So I might put the batteries in there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that okay. because that's quick access to the batteries. Okay, so there are two batteries. There's this little in inside pocket right there. And I'm just gonna put the batteries in there because it's a small place to put them and easy to get to right there. Okay, so I put those in there. Then you close up this pocket here. And then how I strap the drone to it. So you take your drone, you put the battery, the part where the battery goes in, make sure that's at the top so that the least weight is going out. Because if you put it like this, it has a better chance of, I think, falling downwards. But if you put it like this, it's better that way. So this you just put on here like this. Usually I'll put the gimbal clamp, which secures the gimbal, and then I'll put the camera lens on top so that nothing gets damaged. You can take off the entire gimbal, but that's a lot of work. Like, I don't think it's super necessary. So you take this strap, put it through the leg, and then attach it to where this clips. And then you take this strap, attach it through here, and attach it to the strap. So that's attached, and then you can just adjust. And that's how you attach the drone. It's really simple. So I can just keep this on my back like this. And then have the drone on my back. So if I have the backpack on like this with all the camera gear in it, and I have a drone on my back, I can just walk and the drone isn't in my bag. The bad thing about the drone being inside the bag is that the legs like stick out on your back inside the bag or outside the back of the backpack. If you wear it like this, it's fine and it's super secure with this. And the last thing is the controller. The controller, I also put in that big pocket on the inside. In this tiny pocket, I keep my phone. If I don't keep it in my pocket, I usually keep my phone in my pocket, but if I don't, I'll put it in here. I don't wanna keep anything too small in here because I don't want it to fall out because it just doesn't have a top to the bag. So, so that's my droning, adventuring, vlogging backpack. I'm gonna go for it.